Hi there, Point of Hills Hyundai family. We're gonna go ahead and go over the Palisade Limited once more. Uh, we're gonna go over the features of the front view camera as well as the back view camera settings. To access the rear view camera, you just go ahead and put your foot on the brake and click reverse and it'll show up for yourself. We have the option of seeing two different modes, just the backup camera. And as well, we also have the aerial view, the 360 camera view, okay? Um, Next up, we can also change the settings as far as what we see behind us. We can go ahead and click back. It's going to give you an aerial view in case you're backing up to anything and you want to try to get as close as possible. Next up, we also do have uh, both sides as well, just to make sure we did go ahead and park within the lanes here. Okay, that way uh, when we open the doors, none of the doors get damaged. Next, we also do have options of changing brightness and contrast if you'd like to, okay? And then you can always just reset everything as afterward. We do have other settings as well, lastly. Okay, we have display context, which go over the top view, parking guidance, rear view, parking guidance, and parking distance warning as well. Top view mode, we can also do a zoom in mode or zoom out or just normal view, whatever you like best. Front view, we also do have a wide view, a top view, and the left right corner view. These all settings are gonna be which one is going to be your default setting whenever you either hit drive or reverse. So for the top view default mode, we can also change it to zoom in view. Okay, we're gonna close it. It's gonna be a little bit more zoomed in for yourself. And then in case you wanna change it back, you go back to the settings, go to top view default mode. You can switch it back to normal view or to zoom out view. It's going to give you more of a, uh, it's going to look less zoomed in. To access the front view camera, we're going to go ahead and put the car in drive. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and pop up. Say you're at a stoplight or you're at a, a, sh a shopping mall or so, or a parking structure, you can always just turn off the parking view or the camera view on the bottom right hand side next to the drive mode. And you go ahead and turn it off by making sure the button's not on. And then in case you want it to pop back up, you can go ahead and just click it again. At the moment, we do have the emergency brake just to ensure safety. So when you're in drive, you can actually go ahead and see your front camera up to 10 miles per hour. After you exceed the 10 miles per hour, it's gonna go ahead and just go back to the home screen. Okay, so always check your surroundings for safety. You do have different settings you can change from. This is just the front view in case you just wanna see what's in front of you. Again, we do have the 360 camera view off to the right hand side of the screen. If we go to the next setting, it's gonna go ahead and give you the front view as well. Okay, so in case you ever need to. And also does have the predictive steering as well. If you see, we're turning our, our wheels and it's gonna kinda of give you a, a heads up display in a sense. Coming up, the third tile, we do have the uh, pretty much it's going to let you know how close are you on each edge as well. So whenever you're parking. And then also if you see, it's also showing me where my tires are angling to as well. Okay. Uh, fourth one is again settings in case you want to go ahead and change the brightness or the contrast. And in case you do change it, it's going to go ahead and be a little bit brighter. Okay. Or it's going to be more sharp with the contrast. You can just reset everything back to normal. Lastly, we do have the front view default modes. So we have the wide view and we also have the top view as well. So it's just gonna go ahead and default to whatever you'd like. Once you hit drive, it's gonna give you that default setting. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and go over the uh, lane change view. The camera is gonna go ahead and assist you as well whenever you either change left or right when, when you're driving. So we're gonna go ahead and put the car into drive. Okay, when we switch lanes, we're gonna go ahead and use our signal indicator and we'll be able to see the left side, okay, in case anybody's in your blind spot. We also do have the blind spot detection system in case there's any vehicles approaching or vehicles next to us as well. Right side as well, we can go ahead and see what's to the right of us as well as our blind spot. Again, the blind spot detection system will go ahead and activate in case anybody's in our blind spot as well. Once again, guys, thank you for watching this video. In case you're interested in a Palisade or own a Palisade, I hope this video was informative for yourself. In case you have any questions, 
feel free to leave them down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe to everybody you know. And in case you have any questions or would like to test drive one, feel free to go ahead and contact us.